What's up, you guys? Today, we're going to talk about how to resize your videos for Instagram Reels and TikToks within Final Cut Pro. I've got a clip right here of me playing bass in the studio that I recently posted. Check this out. All right, so we're going to click on our project. And then over on the far right in our project settings, it'll say modify. We'll say modify. We'll go to our video over here. And then in video, we're going to say custom. And then we're just going to swap these two. So we're going to say 1080, 1920, and then OK. Boom. So now you can see that we have this rectangle going on, but we're not filling up the whole screen. So what we're going to do is we're going to click on our clip here. And then we're going to go all the way over here. And what I usually say is 318, right? Or we could just literally fill this up until we get big enough. And usually about 318, like we landed right on it. Awesome, let's play it back real quick. And that looks fine. We're just gonna go with that and we're going to say file, share, and then I usually say Apple devices 1080p. If you don't like the location of where it's zoomed into, then you can actually go over here into your transform area and you can start moving around your X, right? And then when you move that around, you can pick what location you want. This one, I just kept it right in the middle. Let's go on to another example that I have over here. Let's go on to clip two. This is another video that I posted uh, recently. So let's change our project again. I'm gonna say modify, custom, and we'll swap these 1080 by 1920. Awesome. So we're back to this. If I bring this all the way up again, right, then it's only getting me. And in this one in particular, I wanted to get both me and Chris. And so I'm going to back this off just a little bit. And I'm going to use this position X to move it over. Okay, so now we're both in there, but then we have these black bars on the top and bottom. And what I did to solve that is I just say, copy this. I'm gonna paste my clip and we're just gonna put it underneath. And we'll turn it all the way down so that we don't have any extra noise. Now this one that's on the bottom, what I'll do is I'll blow it up to the full amount. And then I'm gonna go down here into my effects pane. I'm gonna to go to all, and then down here, I'm just gonna search for Gaussian. We're gonna take our Gaussian blur, and we're just gonna drop it right on top of our big clip underneath. Nice, pretty good. Uh, I like how it's looking. I just don't want that, I don't want that bottom clip to like shine so much. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to go over here into my effects pane. Uh, and I'm going to bring down my opacity just so it's a little darker. And I'm gonna go about 50%. Nice, looking pretty good. Again, we're just gonna go up here to file. We're gonna say share Apple devices 1080. And then you can airdrop that to your phone and upload it right to either Instagram Reels or TikToks. Anyways, I hope this helps. If you have any questions, let me know. And, uh, Happy to do more tips and tricks like this. I'll see you guys soon.